know what? June is not only a time to enjoy this nice weather, it is also Men's Health Month. A good time to remind your dad or husband to get a regular checkup. On the square, we have some expert advice also about what to eat, what to add to the diet, maybe what to eliminate from the diet. Important information. All the month good of June. advice. Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Moe is in family medicine with Adventist Health. First, let's talk about where we should here and start with what we should is food is essential, right? We've got to make the right decisions when it comes to men's health. Well, food is what fuels the body, you know, yeah. Chris. And so we got a really great spread for what's going on here. Sure. You know, if we're going from, from this side, we got some fresh fish, we got uh, chicken, lean meat. And so, and the fish is great because it's got omega-3 fatty acids. It's the omega-3s, it's, right? it's, the omega yeah. it's good for your cholesterol, right. which is really important to watch for, for men's health and for everybody's health. And then fruits and veggies on the other side, right? Yeah, that's right. And so we've got plenty of selection of uh, fruits and vegetables. And the emphasis really is to see how much like fresh fruits and fresh vegetables that we uh, that we can get into our diet. Yeah. Whole grains also, that's also really beneficial, especially fiber for, for cholesterol as well. Break it down for me then, uh, and how many servings of the fruits and veggies each day? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we uh, we used to think about it in terms of like the food pyramid design. We're sort yeah. of uh, moving away from that idea, and, um, and it's almost like inverting the pyramid actually, and so we're trying to maximize how many uh, fruits and vegetables that we can get right. with with each serving. You can almost not really overdo it necessarily. But minimum, and so probably at least four servings a day. Four yeah. servings. Yeah. My, you know, men in my life are going to say, "Where's the red meat, doctor? <laughs> right. Can they have red meat?" You know. Uh, there's, a, there's been a lot of discussion about how much red meat and how little, how much. Um, uh, I think you certainly can work red meat into, into a healthy diet. The paleo diet is certainly being yeah. popular at this moment right now. Um, you just should probably check, make sure that you know, make sure you get your cholesterol levels checked because it can increase your level yeah. of cholesterol. You know, a lot of issues as we shift gears here regarding men's health sometimes get overlooked and, and not spoken about a lot just because of their nature, prostate exam, colonoscopy, <laughs> these checkups, tell us how often we should get checkups and what are some of the guidelines on some of this important test? You're saying some scary words, Chris. Yeah, right, exactly, right. <laughs> but, but important and when it comes you to medicine. I'm getting right a little now. worried about oh, boy. it. Yeah. Oh boy, <laughs> They're important, right? Oh, they're, they're absolutely important. Yeah. You know, the, the whole purpose of an of a annual physical exam is to make sure that we identify, you know, if there's any issues early on. Yeah. And so the idea is that we're trying to identify these problems early on, preferably when, you know, they're they're not as serious and hopefully when they're easier to manage and easier to treat yeah. and so some of the things you know with what you're talking about um, colon cancer is, is super important right now um, traditionally we've been saying that you start at age 50 for colon cancer right. the American Cancer Society has actually just had a new recommendation last year saying that we might need to be screening people younger at 45 right? yeah. and so right now that's being actively taken a look at and investigated we'll see if the recommendations right. change for that and then you start talking about prostate issues right around age 55. Yeah. There's also lung cancer screening that also starts at age 55. Yeah. You just got to talk to your doctor about that if you've got a significant smoking history. Absolutely. Also important to be checked for diabetes and cholesterol through regular blood work. How often should you schedule a routine checkup? You know, in, in my practice, we schedule people at least once annually. Um, it depends really on what your medical conditions are, and then we get people set up for age-appropriate screening. But can't go wrong with once a year. Yeah, no. final question, and we just have a few seconds left, but give us a ballpark. Sleep. How many hours should we get a night? It's very important to men's health, isn't it? Absolutely. So uh, we know that sleep is good for, for sexual health, for, for energy, um, and for uh, de decreased stress, right. as he well as depression. He likes where you went right off the top. <laughs> right, right, right. Anyway. So what, seven hours minimum? We're, we're talking seven to, eight hours, uh, seven to eight hours minimum, absolutely. All right. Dr. Jonathan Moe, thanks so much for coming by with Adventist Health, and thanks for this nice, healthy yeah, spread. Great advice, too. Thanks, Doctor.